with us as a people. And of course, this evening, we'll start with the lesson one. And so, our uh, lesson today is the medicine. Medical. Medical. We're looking into our cultural, our traditional medical system. Our traditional medical system. We've looked at our culture. We look at the value of our culture today. And I want to believe that at the end of the day, you will not only know the truth about yourself as a people, you begin to appreciate who you really are and what nature can do for you. There are things that you won't understand. I want you to open your heart and absorb it. If you look at Nigerian as a case study, when I was in Lagos then, when the Yoruba want to mock the Igbo, of course, when they, we mean the Igbo, we're talking about Biafrans generally. This is what they do. They say, Omo Ajokuta Ma Mumi. Omo Ajokuta Ma Mumi. And then the Biafrans in return will say to them, Omo Ufi Mano, Unyu Fi Mano. And now it looks like it's a joke, but let me tell you what you do not understand there. The Yoruba as a people can pour one bag of pepper inside three liters of soup. And when they are eating it, you won't even see them sweating. No ash, ash. Because in their DNA, there is something that kills pepper. Or there is something that eats pepper. But you, even our pepper soup, where you put too much pepper, nobody will come to your canteen the next day. Because they will drink one liter of water to quench the pepper. You don't think all these things are just, you know, it's just, no. That is why you see, like, the, the are was. They can drink milk January to December. Everything, there is always milk. But do you know, as a beer friend, there is a stage you get to, you can't take milk any longer. You know, this is why you must not joke with yourself. So when you are priding yourself, oh, I'm eating American food, I'm eating China food, I'm eating Yoruba and Awosa food, have you considered the negative effect it is to your health? But you never know this. And so this evening we are going to look at the medical aspect of our culture. Number one, how did our people survive before the Western medicine was introduced? When I sit back today, you have, uh, as a Nigerian, as a Biafran, you are sick. Without the aid of Western medicine, none of us will be alive. And that keeps me wondering. Our fathers before us, if you die young, you will be considered that you have soiled your hand. You have people living 120, 140, 172, and so on. You hardly see old people these days. Watch those people you think they are old. People like late Buhari. Watch Obasanjo you think they are old. Check their age. Mazim or 90. Look at how they are looking already. But in those days, in fact, there are people I know. The man was about, it should be 162 years. And at the age of 162 years, he knows the name of all his children because he has about 32 children or more. I'm not talking about grandchildren. In fact, at the age of 162, the youngest, the youngest wife is around 30 years. And as I'm speaking to you, the man last son is, I'm not sure, it's up to 30 years. In other words, if he's 100, that which means at 130, he pregnant the woman. But these people didn't have access to Western medicine. They were depending on our cultural medicine. And now the question is today, go and look at all the obituary newspaper. What you see is, after a brief illness, gone so soon, 28, 38, 40. You hardly see 50 years. You hardly see 70 years. But what am I trying to say in effect? We have neglected our own cultural values and heritage. Without IPOB today, 
there is a yellow substance, a red substance. Awosa is selling everywhere now. At least I saw one today. Oh, Alaji, Wangurugwa is a traditional. Is this one a Biafran drinking a drug sold by Awosa? Something is wrong. There are implications to all these things. But in the course of looking into our culture, we will see the truth. Then you see another one, the Yoruba, they are moving with drug, herbal everywhere. Uguarariro, Ugu Bobo Mise, Ugu this one, Ugu that one, Ugu Jedi Jedi. And do you know who they are, do, those who patronize them? Biafrans. You will never see a Wosa man go to Bembela and buy Bembela medicine. No way. Instead, let that disease kill them. I was still on their traditional medicine. Yoruba, the same thing. But Biafrans, they are the one that go to Ijebo Day to buy Uguarariro, Ugujedi Jedi, Ugububo Mise. We are the same people who is taking our Sadro, but where is our own traditional medicine? And now let us assume, without the Western medicine, what happens to us as a people? Because most of these people are gone into extincts. The remaining one are 419. We will get there later. We have traditional herbalists everywhere, medical doctors. These are the things we face from them. Today, all the traditionalists, all the herbalists we have in Biafra land, Biafrans, when you have a sickness that they have the medicine to cure you at once, they will never administer that medicine to you. That is the one that still know how our native medicine work. They will make you to be coming every day and every day and every day and every day. So they can be collecting five, five thousand, ten, ten thousand. Ten. So if you come hundred times, you would have paid fifty thousand. The more you come, the more money they make. And why they do this? They lose the divine mandate given to them to cure their people. They now have organization. They now use laptop. They now have Martima Force. They have actually improvise and which grammar do i use these are supposed to be our native doctor the ones that are sincere your pastor will tell you that they are evil what is the meaning of native doctor does native doctor suggest that that person is evil but they actually suggest that this person is a doctor not western doctor but the names have been demon demonized so you you hardly go to the native doctor and now one of the places where we endanger ourselves when it comes to the issue of traditional medicine is because most of these are traditional medicine. You must miss it with spirit. Spirit is gin. Gin is ugogoro or kai kai. Because it helps the root to ferment. It helps to extract the chemical from those leaves. Through which is later purified by the western world and it becomes a pharmaceutical product. But in our own method of purifying these drugs, you use that same gene. And then they will say, no, it's a sin. The Bible says, don't drink. But I never saw it. Imagine your pastor come to your house. You're just taking a traditional medicine, mixed with your guru. You may be the next sermon, topic for the next sermon in their Sunday church. And this discourages our people from going into harm. We can go on and on and on and on and explain, but I will be digressing. But the number one point I need you to begin to consider is without our own traditional medicine, what will be the fate of our people today? What will be the fate of our people today, considering the fact that we depend on Western medicine? Number two, where is the place of our traditional medicine today? As Biafrans, our traditional medicine, where is their place? Where is their value? It, you will be surprised. You'll be surprised. There are a lot of things involved. There are a lot of implications there. I have seen people who were sick. And I've seen them being cured. In a natural way. In a traditional way. But you know, since one is disconnected from the village, you lose most of these things. I have said it once. I have a younger brother who used to have a cataract. That I was never operated. We took the brother, my father took the, my bro, younger brother then to the village. Then, that should be early 80s. 
they just pick a leaf from the forest, squeeze it, drop it on his eye. That is the end of cataract in less than 30 minutes. One of my pastors used to have pile. Of course, if he's listening, he will know. A pile he has suffered for more than 30 years. And one day he was advised to go for surgical procedure, operation. In fact, he was in the hospital when message got to the village that they want to operate him. And nobody operate pile and remain the same again. You are dead. You don't operate pile. You manage it till it kills you. And then they say, no, 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 don't do the operation. From that same Delta state, somebody brought some leaf. That leaf looked like uh, monkey sugar cane, among other leaves. They use squeeze the leaf together, take the liquid from that leaf, touch the pile, push it back. That pile today is more than nine years now. That pile has not come down again. This is a pile of more than 30 years. But today, a lot of people are dying of different sickness and disease because once they are sick, they go to pastor. Now, your prayer takes over the traditional medicine. But most of you, we are not told that Luke is a, is a, is a, 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 a physician. Luke, who wrote the book of Luke, one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, is a physician. So where is the place of our traditional medicine? I want us to begin to consider this. Number three thing we need to check about our traditional medicine is where is the place of uh, number four, I mean, is what is the consequence of neglecting our medicine? You reject your own medicine. You go to other people. What is the consequence? Let me tell you. There are many ways to fight a war. This war that is ranging already. I understand during the war, during the genocidal war, Nigeria against Biafra, they were Kwashoko children. The solution they needed was salt. And if salt will cure Kwashoko or reduce Kwashoko, and you have salt water all around us, why can't salt water be used as an alternative means to provide salt? And so I can't get it. The same there was somebody telling them it's not hygienic to take salt water. Because you have stock fish today, another food item they brought. They have to, in fact, stock fish, for instance, those people who aided and helped us to survive, they will use salt to seal stock fish and send to us. So the stock fish was not actually to eat fish. It was the only means they have to bring in salt that it might get to everybody. And so some people soak salt, uh, stock fish inside water to be able to extract the salt. But of course, at that time, they told us, no, it's not hygienic enough. It's not like this enough. It's, but I was some man, Fulani man, we use cow urine to wash their head. It's okay. They are, they are healthy. They are okay. The consequence is, when we neglect, when we neglect our traditional medicine, our herbal we are already left at the mercy of our enemy. We've been so advanced now. Once you are sick, you run to India or America or German or China. But do you know there is a man in Imo State that can actually, is from Imo State. He undergoes, he in fact, he carries out surgical operation on people in a traditional way without even putting them to sleep. They will operate you now, 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 now. Once they finish, they say, go and eat abu. A native doctor. How did they do this? We begin to consider our mothers in those days. How do they deliver? These days, if go, go and check the record from the hospital. In every 100 women that are put to bed, 65% do it through operation. CSC. But those people you are calling uncivilized, most of them, 
don't even know what labor is. They will not say, get us, but did they do me? Now, hospital be the next stage. If they delay, they will deliver on the road. If they delay, the moment they feel that inching after nine months. But it's amazing. Those of you who have access to, 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 to the best so-called medical health care, your wife must be operated. Of course, I know some of you do it deliberately. Because you know you want your vagina to remain a young girl. So you don't want baby to pass there. I know that is the reason behind most of you. But of course, you are doing that, destroying the health system. You know, this is another way to liberate our people. Our culture, just that we are following medical aspect of it. We will look every part of our culture so you know what you are doing to yourself at the end of the day. Today now, government of the day will come out. For example, the Nigeria you find yourself, because it's going to happen. One full animal would say, from today, we ban the importation of any Western drug inside Nigeria. After all, where is Enzo? We ban the importation of any form of Western medicine. We want to develop our medicine. I tell you, more than 70% of the Africans will die. Even without shooting a gun. And more Yorubas and Awosa will become millionaire overnight. Why? Because they still retain their traditional herbal medicine. Yorubas still maintain it. So even before they take Paradol, Paracetamol, Astramacin, and Arubomacin, they have taken Baba Ijebu, Baba Ibu. They still maintain it. Awosa still maintain it. Fulani still maintain it. But what of we, Biafrans? No, we are westernized. Have you tried tra taking uh, osmosiosis? You know, the, the, the bigger the name, the more complicated the name, the more effective the drug. Just give the drug big name, the disease run away. That is your mindset. Don't be surprised. One day, as we are talking now, I will start with bound importation of Western drug. And then you know what we have done to ourselves. I listened to our leader broadcast one day. He said, when you have a child that never felt sick and he grew up into a man, the day that child is attacked by any disease, that child cannot survive because his immune system has not been used to fighting virus and germs. That child will die. In those days when we were small, we used to eat sand. They say, liver, liver, it's okay, it's normal. We just they say sand, pack sand, food for mouth, then go leave us. We never do appendix. But today now, if sand enter newborn baby, new generation of Biafra, if one seed of sand enter your baby mouth, I'm sorry, they may have to use microscope and telescope. They will even use jig to bleach the mouth. You think it's advancement? Prepare for what is coming. What can we learn from other race and culture in terms of this medicine? The medical aspect of their culture and of their life. Now, let me tell you something. As advanced as developed as Chinese is, they depend on their own drug. They even import it to us. They call them Tianxi. And so on and so on. Asian drug. I even have one of them close to me. There was a, the, by the time I was released from DSS, somebody helped me and said, take this. And I took those drugs. And when I finished, I had allergic a, a reaction, allergic reaction. It looks like I was having chicken pus or small pus. But I know I have had it when I was in the boarding school in those days in secondary school. And it's not possible for me to have it now. And when I checked, it was those drugs that were causing the allergic reaction for me. But it's China drug. It's working for them. But it was not designed to suit my DNA. I don't think we are all the same DNA. No. Everyone has his own. So as advanced as China is, they depend on more of their own herbal medicine to survive. Watch China people, Japanese people, all these Korean nations. They are the people you see, very old people. Old people. Indian has emulated them. 
they upgraded their own making it look like western life but it's their drug but black africa where is your own they condemn it the when they organize seminar they will write off your own medical medicine you will support them this is how they condemn your medicine I've heard many people selling Western medicine. They say, eh, the problem now is, eh, eh, the, my, my problem with eh, our traditional medicine is that if you know pepper, make it bitter. If you know bitter, make it hot. If you know hot, you know go walk. You're mocking, you're laughing. But ask yourself a question. How did our father survive before now? Just find out from yourself. Every nation you see today, what is their hope? Let India tell China, we will supply you drug again. China will just laugh as usual way. America say we banned American drug from entering uh, 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 India. India will just die of laughing. But let even South Africa say our drug we know. In fact, why would I say South Africa? Let Yoruba say I will not bring Ogwaladiro uh, 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 and Ogujedi Jedi for for Bia France again. Many of Bia France people Jedi Jedi will kill you. Go to every mechanic workshop. Go to every carpenter workshop. Go to every site of Oguaja. You will see Yoruba giving beer France drug. Ogujedi, Jedi, Ogujeruru, Yoruba self. Put sanction on beer France now as we speak. Not to talk of our sir. We are gone as a people. But you, who is a doctor, a traditional doctor, a herbalist of a beer France, what are you doing? You are making money, Abi. Don't worry, it will get to your children. Instead of you to promote our medical, our medicine, traditional medicine, you are there making merchandise of your people. You think you have sense. Don't worry to get to all of you. I know why I'm saying this. Because sometimes we begin to, we need to begin to consider what we've done to ourselves. Where is the place of our medicine? What is the fate of our people compared to what other nations are going through? Don't let anybody deceive you. This is the time, dear France. You are a traditional doctor, a native doctor, as they call you. You are a herbalist. You manufacture local drugs. Please stop making merchandise of Biafra. Teach the next generation. Teach the next generation about our herbs, about our medicine, about our traditional and local herbs. Teach them. Teach them. Teach the next generation. As a child in those days, in my house where I come from, there is a, a, a clay pot they, they put. We call it Ububwe. Some call it Calabash, but the clay pot. But in our dialect, we call it Ububwe. Ububwe. There is a clay pot that they keep at our passage. You know those who in this house. In this clay pot, they always put water. They put water on the clay pot, not a very big one. Then they will break native chalk inside the clay pot. Then there is a leaf. I know that leaf. Till tomorrow, I know that leaf. But the reason why I do not damper into it is because the leaf have another special of it. One of them is the medicine. The other one is a poison. But as a child, I used to know them. So my grandmother would go a quantity of water in that calabash pot, put water there, break the native chalk inside the water, it will plug that leaf and put inside that calabash pot. The reason why they do that thing is an antidote to poison. So once you say, ah, Mama Bella, they bite me, they say, go to that calabash and take one cup. And I tell you, if you like, drink acid. If you drink that leaf soaked in that native chalk water, it will subside it. It will destroy it. But I knew that it has two types. One is poison. One is the original. And today, since I'm not too sure of it, gone. Maybe some people would still know it. And so when they say, oh, Bele, they bite, Bele, they bite, you now, be but watch in those days. They were native medicine we used to take. When you are having warm, you want to expel warm. When you take this medicine, you will shit the warm. If you tell people of this generation now that you can shit warm, some of them will mock at you. 
then a lie is not possible. But if you want to know that there are medicine of our people, if you have a dog, go and buy pan wine. Put pan wine for your dog to drink. You will see that pan wine is a warm expeller for your dog. But don't go and buy the one they miss with Shakareno. What am I saying to you in effect? In those days, when you take warm expeller, you will see the warm that is expelling. Today you will drink Aramamasen, Aturumasen, Abagamasen. After the whole Abagamabaga, you will see, you will not see single worm. They will say, no, the, the, the tablet pieces it. Okay. The tablet pieces it. In those days when we were passing out this worm, were we not living high, uh, more, more better life than this? This is stage one, lesson one of this study. The medical. Hopefully, tomorrow, we will continue for there. We will look into different branches of the medical aspect of our land as a people. Because I just try to make you understand just a few points about our medicine as a people. We have, in the Western medicine, they have pharmacies, they have gynecologists, they have orthopedic, they have dentists, they have surgicals, pediatrics, and those who study uh, uh, family medicine and so on and so forth. Most of you don't know that before they gave you this grammar, we have all of them. We will look into them. How we manage that issue in our next study, hopefully by the grace of God, tomorrow. At this moment, our lines are open. I need your response to the following issue. Before the Western medicine came, how did we survive? All of them, before they start giving you medicine, how did our people survive? Number two, where is the place of our traditional medicine today? Number three, where is, what is the consequence of us neglecting our own traditional medicine? Number four, what can we learn from other nations, race, and culture in terms of those who preserve their own traditional medicine? When you call in, you have one minute. Advise Biafrans to go back to their roots. When you call in, don't condemn any other people. Talk about your own. When you call in, be on the positive side. For our target is to make sure that the Biafran will try to restore will restore it in its totality. And you never know what is going to come tomorrow. We must be ready for all of them. I'll be back in a minute. Yes, sir, of course, at this moment, our lines are open. Only our WhatsApp line and direct line will be open this moment. Our WhatsApp line is 070-815-456-42. And then our direct line is 081-221-529-71. When you call, please, just one minute, pass your message. Call out on the line your name and where are you calling from? Call out on the line. Call out on the line, are you there? But we must continue. When you call, focus on the point, the agenda we have considered. One, the positive. Call on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Yes, sir. I'm Azichi Majete from Sukasari, the Carmona. They're yes. watching it. Here. They will. Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, people tell me I keep on blessing you and blessing you ever. Because of this project that you brought for us, especially for us to know our history, for us to know where we are coming from, Sukasari is going to bless you and your generation. I know that you have already blessed, but we give you more blessing. Because this is the type of the thing that we need. It's not because of this type of thing. Now in the school, they have removed everything about history. Look at the so-called, uh, the, the woman that, that just give the students uh, assignment. Can you go in Alpha land and give somebody assignment on CRK and, also, and, and a, Muslim, um, a Muslim child? This type of thing, this type of thing cannot happen. So we are very grateful that Shukokan might just bring our little Amazon and Bikano to bring this platform where we can hear anything that we before truth. And nothing but the truth. Mature, uh, mature camera keeps on blessing you and blessing everyone. 
I was interested on the, since uh, on Sunday that I started the program. I was interested. And the two of them are keep on interested. This is only all just I have. In the watch make it, I remember the team I just said on YouTube from the other side of the carman and they Thank you very left. much. Thank you very much. Our people must understand. If we do not save ourselves, nobody will save us. But we must continue. Call her on the line, your name, and where are you calling from? Hello? You have one minute. Stop listening to your radio. Yeah, George, I mean, on you God bless Biafra. God bless Biafra. Biafra is rising. My topic was about your statement this evening that we suppose that we're supposed to go back to our old medicine. And I pray, let me speak my language. Hello? I will prefer Hello? you I will prefer you use pigeon English in this segment. Okay. Is it better that we go back to our old name? Yes, uh, we lost that caller. Call on WhatsApp. Your name and where are you calling from? Yeah, my brother from another one from Europe here. Yeah? Good evening, Marzi. Uh, my name, yeah, my name's okay for you to see you. But in Sweden, I'm calling from Warsaw right now. I say, make a call to keep you and bless you, give you more wisdom to educate us more and more. Mahamadika, wherever you are now, or members of Siku Prezo and your leadership, hands are up. My brother, when when we say when we say we are a, we are Biafra, everything that has to do with Biafra, Biafra is our culture and our religion. When we say people don't seem to understand. When we say we are restoring this Biafra, we are restoring both our culture and our religion. A lot of a lot of you did those wonders. My chuku you chuku kabi amala chesago hake yola. They have changed everything about us. Mazi. This our this year topic is very very good. We have to go back to our traditional traditional medicines. Our people are always interested in foreign things. They are interested in, in what Yoruba is. Instead of them to patronize the one that is in their backyard, that they will not do that. My father teach people in my town in Omaka. I hear from Omaka. Omaka is in Olo. Man, you hear your man, my father will walk. We'll see you. Even if you talk time be, my father will keep you and teach you with you traditional medicine. If you have a, a snack bite, my father teaches you. If you have a, what they call it, Rihanna, the this is our place. Just take the leaf there, squeeze it and put the leaf, the, the water there, everything good. The, the, this thing will be coming out, all of them will be coming out. And we start calling it with a with a stick or whatever what, rope. All of them, this is what we, we, we are we are talking. And this is where we are going. May Ekeko bless you. We are going back to our roots. There are a lot of things unfolding. Thank God you started with the air now. And we complete it. We are watching how it folds. Thank you, my beloved brother. Thank you very much. We must continue. Caller on the line, your name and where are you calling from? Good evening, Mazi Onyibe. Good evening from here. This is Mazi Onyibe, which is of family writers calling from Nigeria. Go ahead, please. I want to actually appreciate you for what you are teaching us this night. In fact, I want to say that every Biafran is a defaulter or victim of what is happening concerning our uh, medical heritage at these days. The problem is still colonial problem, colonial, uh, 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 colonial uh, issues that befall us. Because I, I remembered in the yesterday when I was very small, when if snake, if snake, uh, pour uh, saliva to somebody's eye, maybe hunters, they will come home and put salt inside the coco, coconut, uh, this uh, water inside coconut, use it to wash the eye of the person, and the person will got healed. I still remember then as well, when if you go for hunting, somebody will put a green leaf in his uh, mouth while he will be digging the 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 whole of uh, rats so that if anything like that a uh, uh, snake you know pours uh, the, the, the 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 venom it will not affect your eye I mean it will not even pour out the venom again and so many other medications like that time like this somebody is having running nose this uh, 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 
something like uh, um, blood gush out of his nose, if there's a secret that causes something like that. When you carry pan canner and burn it, and it becomes that black, and you eat the pan canner, it will heal the person automatically. I have even applied it to somebody, a friend of mine, when I was in there with my place. He is having such problem, and I apply it to him. What of malaria? It is rabbit, rabbit in the bush that you pick. Uh, this is African rabbit that you pick. Cook it, treat malaria, and it will go. But they will not go to eat. We'll be using uh, chloroquine, liver queen, the other queen, the other queen. Whereas when we finish treating it, we see having the symptoms disturbing us. But look at things that we have naturally. If you we bring rabbit, they will tell us a rat. Nobody will eat it again. The other are not eating. And we are not eating it again. How will I eat bush meat? When we are eating those other ones and taking some other things, it will not help us. So I want us to go back to our root truly. We have we have defaulted. Nobody will say is is innocent of it. I am also a default because when I did I take uh, local medicine? It's not paracetamol and other things. May God help us to go back to our root. It's good to be my prayer. Thank you. Thank you. We must continue. Call on WhatsApp. Your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening, uh, fellow viewers. Good evening, and uh, as you uh, My name is Anselm Odowell. Uh, I'm calling from uh, South Africa. I'm from about a town of province, land. I appreciate your good work. Uh, all the effort, uh, the is a is a good program for us. I want to use myself as an example because, uh, like now, if I am at home, fortunately I'm not. But if I'm at home, if I have cough, I know the medication that I just have to go inside the bush, take it, I will chew it. The cough will go. I don't take medication for cough because. The person who I normally go for a medical treatment, uh, herbal treatment, is, he normally showed me the medications if he's uh, putting it for me. He said he's showing me because he knows I will not enter inside the bush and start giving it to people. He's doing it out of trust because his children, none of them want to learn it. All of them are running away from him. They said, Papa, this thing you are doing is... Simple. You are doing the dirty things. Uh, it's mm. simple. You say you are doing the dirty things. That is it. So for now, I know only cough. There is other ones, little, little ones I know, not deep. But like when I was traveling to South Africa, I have what they call malaria and typhoid. And I learned that South Africa don't treat malaria. Either they treat typhoid because they already... Uh, uh, vaccinate their land. So there's nothing like that in South Africa. That sickness doesn't exist. So I went to hospital and asked them I'm traveling so they should give me proper treatment because where I'm going, there's no treatment for that there. So by the time I finish the treatment, I come to this country, three months time, I start having the symptoms of the sickness again. I thought I'm not going to make it. I should start packing my load to come back to Nigeria. So, but one man told me, help yourself. I look around, there is no bush. I come down, I saw one uh, tree on the outside, there is aloe vera. I said, this is aloe vera and I know it's medicinal. I said, okay. I go down to the shop, I buy garlic and ginger. I bring it inside. I go down there, I cut the aloe vera. I blend all of them together. I start drinking it. For a month, after I drink it for a month, that malaria and typhoid disappears. I never take any Uyibo medicine for it. So I advise our people that they should go back and do the, Our people, they, they don't just get the... They do research. You don't just get uh, to know about all this medicine. You do research. And possibly God will help, will guide you through your research. You see? That's all I have to say. Our people should stop buying a uh, Google issue and so forth. And then the outside and the better. Yeah, how how cha cha cha. Well, for whoever understands, you know that that thing will not help them. It will only kill them. So that if they want to kill us fast, it is easy. They will just poison all of us and we'll die. Thank you. And uh, may God bless you. Thank you, my brother. We will take this last call and then we'll wrap up this segment. Can you hear me call on the line? Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening from here. Go ahead, please. Uh, my name is uh, Obong Aisido. 
I'm I'm calling from uh, Aba. Uh, I happen to come from a uh, got a banner in uh, a quite good program. So I want to thank you people for what you have done for us, for uniting us together, for making us to be at one. I want to say, may God Almighty bless you all in the mighty name of Yahweh Ashua. You see? So, I want to say, make all your friends unite together, love yourself, wherever they are. If you see your brother, no matter the language, the person is speaking. Let everybody unite together so that we can fight this war and get our freedom. We have suffered a lot. We have, we have suffered a lot. So please, let every dear friend, wherever you are, unite together. If you see your brother, love your brother as you love yourself. So that you can be able to fight this war and take it to the end. These people have suffered us a lot. They have suffered us a lot. At least, we need to unite together. So that anything we want to do today, we can move it on. So you can see today, many people, uh, the Alpha Fulanese, they group themselves and take our oil, do the way they like. They, 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 they cheat us. We can no longer benefit on what we have. So please, wherever you are, whether you come from Igbo, whether you come from a uh, 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 river state, a poison, let everybody unite together. Uh, please, I want to use this opportunity to speak in my dialect so that my people can hear me. No, this is pidgin English or no dialect here for this segment. Hello? No dialect for this segment. See everywhere. This night they are still going from house to house, searching everywhere, looking for our members to carry them to the station. So that is the situation report that is really happening now in Aquibum, reporting from Aquibum. So yeah, at this at evening, this moment all, now at this moment now how many of them were arrested? Okay. We have not really gotten the exact number, but the full load is of, of course, I, with our I know you will not be able to get the number because both the members of IPUB, both the members of the community, they are going to arrest all of them. And now, one yes, thing our night, people must going. know is that when we talk about traditional rulers in Biafra land, some of them think we hate them. But the point is that when they are under the payroll of Nigerian government, what do you expect from them? I want to tell those of you on ground not to be careful with your lives, but you must work very hard to make sure that the number of people adopted tonight is known. I will be following up what is happening in Akwai Bomb, and none of you should be without fear. You are gathering peacefully before the world to, 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 to discuss, to sensitize our people regarding the need of our people, and now they come to invade the premises. But today, Yoruba are protesting. Tomorrow, our side will protest and go to the House of National Assembly and break down the gate, and nothing happens. One Nigeria. One Nigeria. This is how it is. Thank you for the update, my brother. Mazi, the, Mazi, one, yes. one thing we let the world to know that we can never relent in our effort. We can never surrender. But of no course, defeat. the king We late. are not going back. The we will late. continue in this struggle until their friends are stored. Our five are their friends. We are all their friends. Thank you we are not exempted in this struggle. We are in front, back to front in this struggle. And we will fight until our hand is restored. Thank you very much. Thank you very much from here, from me, Nakwaibong. I say good night. Good night, my brother. The 140 are still detained in Enugu, but the time will come. You, we wish you never arrested any of us. And those of you who are there, you are afraid. Oh, they are going to arrest us. This is their time. Let them do what they can while they have the time. But of course, they are going everywhere bribing every bribable, killing all the people who are unbribable, and trying to make him easily out of our life. But they will be the one who get frustrated in the end of the day. I'll be back in a minute. Do not forget, this is a segment where we present news in different dialects in Biafra land. That is just update report from Akwai Bon this evening. I'll be back in a minute. Can you hear me? All the next two weeks, I have my I have to spend a line in Mechi. She is the... I have to say, 
Yeah, one woman, I call one hair wine. I know not my pet, and then I call my pet. Now, I see a media. I see the gama. Yeah, Pam and I are so profoundly the gama. Pam and I, oh, I'm a honey here, Miss Timmy. Yeah, go to the letter, Habata. I owe a chairman, I need you. Habata, I'm bothered a chairman. Oh, the man to say, I must laugh on with it. Governor, <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Thank you very much. I think he had it in word. Yes, I hear, and the whole world don't hear her. The Afrans everywhere don't hear her. But I go make and clear to Hello, sir. Yes, thank you very much. Hello, sir. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, sir, I think, uh, what did my mother just talk now and exactly what happened today for the market? So they say they are overall or girl from Abuja. Say, so if the woman not apologize for them, make them carry police. As they think to call CP, that is Commissioner of Police, for them to arrest the woman. The woman are chairman for the market, but because of say they no report give me no their way, which is it's genuine Wait, no. something. Make our people no understand. Make our people understand. Some people come from Abuja. Can they take the name of all the women for side Burukli market? Abi? Both women and men. Uh -huh. They can't they take the name of all the people where they for Burukli market. Can't tell yes. them, say, then go give them 10,000. 10, then can't they snap them picture? Can't they snap them picture? Can't they snap them picture? Mama yeah. can't ask them, say, why you not go they pay us 10,000 where we no work? Then say, now, nah, batch loot. Abi? Yes. And now the person where they're in charge of the market can't see say then they collect people name, they snap them. Can't say what thing they happen, then say they are a for Abuja and I send them, come to snap us. Can't they take our picture? Abi? Yes. Now they can't call that the Oga for Abuja will be our summer. With the police yes. uh, DPO, I've been a commissioner for River State. No, Where's the be our summer? CP making come to apologize. For investigating Boko Haram, collecting the ID of our people. I understand everything Mama do. And the people where they hear, then they hear her. This yes. night, go try for the happen. No? Thank you for the yes. update. If you get any other thing, yes, advice to give finish for Lagos. Mm -hmm. They are paying all the Lagos people, uh, the maximum. Uh, uh, they are from Cross River. They don't pay for the They enter River. That, whether the governor of River says, is it a way? They know they answer that. Oh, they they, they, the market authorities, they are there away. They know they have all those and being overall in River State. Our people must know. Another part of where they use, they can't kill our people unnecessarily. When they won't kill you or take your motor from you on highway, you go see uh, uh, federal police. You go see federal Aburu, federal Boy Scout, federal civil defense, federal uh, VIO, 
Federal road safety, where you see them, say them be federal. Just no saying Abuko Haram, you did deal with. Yes, sir. No problem. Thank you for the update. That's that the saying, yeah, It's the fan of genuine information of what they happen. Good evening from here. Uh, good evening. Yes. How are you? Very fine. Go ahead, please. The word is listening. Okay. This is a, this is a good as well as some initiative. I'm speaking from Igorja. I know you have got the information on how this arrow uh, fire, what, this mother, what is managed to do with us. You know, I said that there will be no Christmas, no New Year. And then, and it can like but, but of course, that is good. To use, uh, so uh, that Yoruba pastors. As a clean up base. Yes, it's good. So Yoruba this pastors can pray very well. You know, what is that? What is for kids? You know, they would carry over. Thank you very so much. Say, uh, a general of 1,000 miles begins with a step. Start with, thank you if very much. They will carry it over. So uh, that only God will fight our battle. We want peace, we don't want war. I told them the other day that the war we have now is war of occupant or viral, not war of weapon, not war of gun, what gun market. But the war of uh, says. Thank you very much. We must continue. So Thank you. I'm and grateful God that I'm, I'm able to get you tonight. Thank you. The Chico Academy bless you and bless all our IBS uh, members who are working at church to see the success of our, our, our country. Thank you. God and bless God you. Be with you. Yes. Everybody. Yes, sir. At this the end, they will crumble. Oh, democracy day, democracy day. We need more democracy day, murderers. You think you can cover your atrocity? It's unbelievable. Fela mother was thrown down from a story building. We need her day. As I sign off from here, remain focus. Our destination is Biafra. Nothing more, nothing less. Without apology, we remain Bia France even until the end of time. Good night as I sign off from here and God be with you.